in this video i'm going to talk about environment routing what is environment routing environment routing is basically a premium feature it's a governance feature it allows an admin to direct new makers into their own personal dev environment when they access power app site for the first time so remember that word the first time now if you have already have users have already logged into the power app site then this is not applicable for them okay now first thing Imagine a situation where you have spun up a tenant and then you have invited five users to use your application and then you have turned on the environment routing. Now, instead of users being by default directed to the default environment when they type make.powerapps.com, they will be directed to the development environment, which will automatically get provisioned in the back end. And those development environment will be a safe place for all your developers to work on it, make those uh, citizen uh, development related apps and then contribute to your organization. Now, the default environment routing is a tenant level admin setting. All dev environments created through environment routings will be managed environment. Now, if you don't know what the managed environment is, uh, have a look into my previous video, which you have created uh, related to managed environment. So managed environment is basically an environment which make use of all premium licenses, but then it will give you a rich text of uh, rich insights. It will uh, uh, do some more uh, uh, functional, uh, it has more functional features compared to a normal environment. So like it has a welcome screen, it has uh, a limit uh, access to the apps, sharing of the apps, uh, and it gives you a rich weekly digest email as well. Now, users in managed dev environment must have a premium license to run Power Platform Asset. Now, this is very much important. Like if you have enabled that environment routing settings within your environment, then by default, all the dev environment which gets provisioned when the user first logs into the Power App site uh, is like will be a managed environment. And then, as you know, in managed environment, the user must have a premium license to run the Power Platform asset. Now, the makers get the admin security role in their development environment. So if I, as a developer, logs into the system for the first time, then I will be the admin of my development environment, which makes sense, you know, because I may need to uh, perform some sort of an administrative actions uh, with regards to apps, data, or any other operations which I do on my tenant. Now, um, let me show you where the setting is. So I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. If I go to settings, then you will see environment routing. Now, if you see this green icon, it says the green icon, this setting applies to manage environments only. If I click here, then if I turn this on, it says create personal developer environments for new makers. So it directs new Power Apps makers into their own personal development environments. Now remember, this is only for the new user who has been affected after being set, turning the setting on, okay? It, it is not applicable for the old users, okay? Now, uh, go ahead and read the article within learn.microsoft.com. Here they have clearly explained uh, when there is a new makers, like every new maker used to get access to the default environment and then they used to develop the application within the default environment, which make default environment more cluttered and clunky to use. And it might be a risk as well. So once you turn this setting on, then environment routing will route uh, to a dev environment and every maker will have their own dev environment. And after that, you know, they can make use of uh, 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 the pipelines to deploy the solution into the production environment uh, once they uh, once their solution is matured enough to go into that stage okay so uh, and there are a couple of things you need to understand that this is a preview features and preview features are in meant for production use so uh, make sure that you use it with uh, caution uh, and also non-managed developer environments are unaffected by this feature so if you have a uh, non-managed dev environments which has been already been provisioned this has uh, it will uh, doesn't it will not impact the non-managed dev environment so that's it folks this is all about uh, environment routing how to setting up and uh, it's a good feature for uh, redirecting the users to a, their own particular personal space so that they can feel safe and they can be more creative and productive in building solutions or apps thanks for watching